Why have presidential powers grown over the years? Since the founding fathers, the power of the president has grown tremendously, but it's been at little bits and pieces at a time. A couple of the reasons are due to foreign affairs, like the need to use troops and solve foreign issues and conflicts, the need to make treaties and deal with foreign powers is with the president, which is one person. Congress can't really declare war and run a war and do all of the negotiating with foreign powers with 535 people. So foreign affairs, war is very hard to do with arguing, fighting, trying to pass things with 535. Congress is very slow to move and even to approve, approve bills and actions. The executive uh, needs and enforcing and executing laws can be handled in executive departments and agencies under the president. And the executive needs have been growing as the country has been growing, as the needs have been growing, and the president and its departments can handle this much easier than Congress. Each successive president has incrementally gained powers over Congress, so gradually the powers increased. And when we look at uh, in 100 year increments, it's increased tremendously. Most people believe that the president can declare war and make rules and run the Army and Navy, when in fact these are actually congressional powers, but uh, most people think the president does this. The executive branch is more unified than the legislative branch, and it's basically one person, the president versus 535, one voice, one plan, one program, so it's more unified than Congress. Even when you look at the executive departments and you look at the cabinet and the executive office of the president, it all runs through the president, not 535 people, and they all report to him, and the hierarchy is through the president.